what's up everybody if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back to my channel i'm jerry and you're watching life with jerry all right guys what's up what's up what's up happy vlogmas it's vlogmas 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 a. All right, <laughs> before we get to this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications because YouTube does not always notify you when I post a new video, and I need you guys to get notified, period. All right, period. So, as you guys can see by that title and that thumbnail, today I'm doing a mukbang. I'm really just going to be talking to you guys, ranting. Um, I wouldn't say a life update, but just talking to y'all because I feel like I wanted to make this video a while ago, but I just didn't and I just kind of want to make it now um yeah there's really no reason or no real big motive behind it I just want to make the video now I feel like right now is the time I feel like sitting down and making it not only because I finally have some alone time to really just sit just with you guys and talk and I don't have nobody else around me but also because I just feel like I'm ready to talk about it and talk about how I feel basically I'm gonna just be venting to you guys about how I feel about my channel and just things of that nature so i'm about to be real vulnerable with y'all um so if y'all feel like y'all need the y'all if y'all feel the need to drop any type of hate towards me or anything i mean honestly do what you do it is what it is the hate comments they don't phase me as much um so it is what it is you know what i'm saying um i'm sorry you feel like you need to take the time out of your day to drop a hate comment and um put negative negativity out into the universe but it's okay for everybody else please leave something positive please leave something good please leave a comment a subscribe anything you know what i'm saying but yeah so i'm doing a panda express mug bang it's a real mug bang this time i know last time i did a mug bang it was like just really not really a mug bang but yeah so i have a dasani Ooh. I have a water. I'm trying to drink more water, so I have water. I have two veggie egg rolls, and then I got some Panda Express from DoorDash. I got honey walnut shrimp, beef and broccoli. Oh, y'all can't see. I got honey walnut shrimp, beef and broccoli, and fried rice. So yeah, I saw the fork in here. Oh, I have a fortune cookie too. I don't really eat fortune cookies like that though. I do sometimes, but not really. Like I be giving them to my mama. But I'm not home, so I can't really give them to my mama. <laughs> but, yeah. So, guys, how are you guys feeling? Pause the video and tell me how you guys are feeling. Are you guys liking my Vlogmas video so far? How you feel about my channel? How you feel about me? How you feel about life in general? Tell me how you feel about yourself. Anything. Don't mind back there. I literally just got home from being at Kayla and Mari's house for like over a month. So, I just got a lot going on in my room that i don't feel like getting to right now <laughs> so <coughs> oh shit <coughs> oh man but yeah i have a lot going on in my room if y'all can see right here y'all be like girl get it together but i don't feel like getting it together right now <coughs> hold on i'm hungry as heck y'all hold on like i'm starving This hit, I know y'all can see the food, but I'm sorry, I don't have furniture in my apartment other than my bed and my dresser. Like, we don't have nothing going on in the living room. Like, it looks like nobody lives here from the living room perspective. So, <laughs> um, I'm eating in my room, so y'all can't really see like the plate. I'm sorry. Let me just grab like a few more bites and then we can talk, okay? Mm. 
don't like about ordering DoorDash sometimes is the food be coming cold sometimes. And it's like, okay, I understand. It got to sit in the car. But I do DoorDash. We eat them bags for a reason, okay? <laughs> like, come on, y'all. This is so good, y'all. <sighs> okay. So, I didn't write down any notes, any talking points. I really am going into this just winging it. Um, But first thing I want to talk about is my YouTube channel, where I want to take it, how I feel about everything. And we just gonna go from there, okay? We're just gonna we're just gonna go from there, um, because I just want to really just sit down and be vulnerable with you guys for a little bit. Because if you guys know me and you know my channel, first of all, I'm doing laundry, so sorry if y'all can hear that. It's a lot going on right now. But anyways, um, one thing about me when I first started my YouTube channel, one thing about me when i first started my youtube channel i always told myself i'm gonna stay true to myself no matter what i'm always gonna keep it real and transparent with you guys and i'm always gonna let y'all know what it is and what it ain't and if i'm ever feeling some type of way i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all so y'all know so that's why i'm making this video really just to to really let y'all know like i'm a real person outside of this youtube like outside of youtube like i'm a human being too and i go through stuff too um and I just want you guys to feel a little closer to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of the time, a lot of YouTubers, they just, they are one way on the internet and then another way outside the internet. And then on top of being another way, they suppress their feelings and let it all just build up, build up, build up to the point where they blow up or they're making a video and they're like, I can't do this no more. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just give it a try to be vulnerable and if this ends the wrong way then I won't do it again <laughs> but um I might as well try because I do go through depression and anxiety so for me it's really hard for me to talk about my feelings it's it gets to a point where it's like okay mentally I don't know if I should be making videos right now I don't know if I should be reading the comments I don't know if I should be doing this that da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying but I'm at a point with my depression where it's like I'm not as bad as I was a year ago so I can cope with a lot of the stuff that's why I say your comments don't necessarily get to me like some stuff I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sit here and be like every youtuber oh y'all comments don't phase me da 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 this that and the third no some of y'all comments I'm not gonna lie do be hitting like below the belt I'm not gonna lie but at the same time I know that that stuff is not true I know that that stuff doesn't define me so it's like damn fuck you know what I'm saying but then I'm like nah you know what I'm saying that ain't me that ain't it you know what I'm saying but I do get a little you know what I'm saying a little frazzled or whatever <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about I feel like I'm just talking like but this is a mukbang I'm supposed to just be talking to y'all and it's supposed to be very like informal it's not supposed to be like a real like a regular video where I have a bunch of stuff going on and I know what I'm doing you know what I'm saying I'm winging it honestly I've been winging my whole channel no I'm just saying but <laughs> Um, so I feel like I'm at a point where my channel is a little bit stagnant and I feel like I'm at the point where I'm not necessarily losing motivation for doing YouTube or my channel, but I'm losing motivation in a sense where it's like, dang, like I had this big old spark with my channel and then it's like, eh, it dwindled down. You get what I'm saying? And this is a pre-film video. I want to put that out there. I'm trying to pre-film for Vlogmas, so right now it's Friday, November 22nd. So this is how I feel on November 22nd. This video is going to drop in the beginning of December, so who knows how I'm going to be feeling by then or how my channel will be. But at this moment, November 22nd, Friday at 5.29 p.m., this is how I feel, okay? <laughs> so um, I feel like I'm at a point where my channel is stagnant. Which is like, I understand, you know what I'm saying? There's bigger YouTubers who have millions of subscribers and they're barely touching 10,000 
to 100,000 views. And I can only imagine how they feel because it's like, damn, I had a million subscribers and nobody's watching me. And with me, it's like right now I'm at, what, 82,000 subscribers and I barely average one to 2,000 views per video unless it's a worst reviewed video. And I don't regret ever making my first ever worst review video because it got me to a point where I wanted to be with my channel. But at the same time, I realized like with YouTube, it really is, hold on. All right, it, I feel like with YouTube, it comes to a point where it's like, when you blow up off of one thing, I feel like it comes to the point where when you blow up off of one thing, it's really hard for you to get your foot in the door with everything else you want to do. So, me making my worst review video, I never thought it was going to get the the type of attention it got and I'm forever grateful I'm forever blessed for the attention it got and all of you guys that came from my worst review videos I love y'all to to the moon and back I love everybody like that didn't come from the worst review that did come everybody that's a subscriber all 82,000 of y'all I love y'all to the from the bottom of my heart and I can't thank God enough for bringing y'all to me you know what I'm saying I love Jerry gang like we are strong if y'all know me I go live with y'all I have group chats with y'all I FaceTime y'all all of that stuff like that's just me I've always told myself that that's what I'm gonna do when I get in this platform because a lot of my favorite youtubers when I was on my come up and watching YouTube and all of that stuff they didn't barely respond to me they didn't even DM me back like none of that stuff and I'm like nah I'm gonna be like that one try my hardest to respond it does get hard it really does get hard to get through all those DMs and all those messages and get to everybody. So some of y'all are probably like, girl, you don't even respond. I probably haven't gotten to your message. It's so many messages in my DMs. That's why I encourage you guys to join the group chats so that way you have a for sure way to reach me. You get what I'm saying? Because the group chats, they come straight to me and I see them and I respond. The messages in my request, it's like so many. Like I, can, I can't pick you out out of so many. You get what I'm saying? So... Yeah, but it's really hard. I feel like I just got really off topic, but it's really hard to bit, to blow up. It's really hard to blow up off of one thing and then try to do a bunch of stuff. So if you know me, my channel is a lifestyle channel. I do a lot of stuff. I do pranks, challenges, vlogs, all of that stuff. But now it's like nobody wants to see anything else unless it's a worse review. And I'm like, dang, I really wish y'all would just give me a chance with my other content. Like, I'll drop a worse review and I'll get 10K in a day or more. And then I'll drop a prank, a challenge, or just content, 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 any type of content. And it'll barely get 300 views in an hour. And I'm like, dang, my worst review done touched 5K or 3K in one hour. And this barely touched a 2,300. I'm still grateful for the 2,300. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for everything. Even if it's one person watching me at the end of the day, I'm grateful. But it's just really hard and unmotivating to see. You get what I'm saying? Not saying I'm going to stop because I'm not. I'm going to keep going because one day something else is going to blow and y'all are going to watch that and y'all are probably going to gravitate to my other content. But I'm making this video more so to say I really wish y'all would give me a chance with my other content, if that makes sense. Um... I feel like my other content's entertaining and I feel like it's so hard looking at my channel seeing how many subscribers I have and then comparing it to the views and it's like dang you know what I'm saying like what am I doing you know what I'm saying but then I'm like I don't feel like it's me I feel like I'm doing the best I can with my content with my thumbnails with everything also I feel like it's not just me it's YouTube too y'all the notification thing like YouTube don't notify people so it's like it's not even just it's not even y'all like YouTube don't notify people and I'm like dang I gotta go live for like two seconds tell people go watch my new video and then my live is getting dislikes because it's like girl you only went live to tell me about a new video like you don't care about me da -da -da, but that's not the case I love going live and talking to y'all but sometimes I gotta go live just to tell y'all to watch the video because YouTube doesn't notify you and I'm like okay this mess with my my views you know what I'm saying I want y'all to see the new content so let me go live let me tell y'all you know what I'm saying and then I try to do more interactive content where I like rate you guys or react to your TikTok stuff like that I'm like maybe that'll get them to watch my other stuff but then it's like eh you know what I'm saying it's just really like really really hard like being a YouTuber because the algorithms all messed up like you got people with bigger channels barely getting views people with lower channels barely getting views or people with lower channels blowing up and then they blow up and they're up there and they're barely getting views you know what I'm saying like the algorithms all messed up it's just really stressful you know what I'm saying being a YouTuber is so hard like 
the editing, the amount of work that you gotta put in, the effort. It's like you do all of that and then you feel like this project is just gonna blow, just do so well and then it doesn't and it's like, damn, I put my all into that. Like, what is going on? You get what I'm saying? Like, just think of the, your most favorite thing to do. Your most favorite hobby, your biggest talent, just something you're really, really passionate about, right? You put your all into that and then it doesn't get the results you feel like it should and it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep pushing, that's just me, I'm a go-getter, I'm a hard worker, I don't give up easily, I don't. So, when I, needless to say, it's like, I'm not gonna quit, but it's like, y'all, like, this shit is hard, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, I got people in my comments like, oh my gosh, I used to love watching you, but then you started placing two or three ads throughout the video now I'm like watching you and I'm like y'all I'm trying to do this I'm trying to make this a full-time thing so y'all can see me more because y'all want me to post more and I'm like okay well I can't make it full-time if I gotta work still after school or if I gotta do this and do that you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to make it to where I could do this full-time when I graduate and be dropping two to three videos a day or a video every day for y'all and it's like I gotta put one or two extra ads in my video so I could make a little bit more so that way it's like okay I'm seeing good income I could quit everything else and do this full time you get what I'm saying and the way I see it I feel like when y'all watch TV right you watch TV and there's an ad every five minutes or so and those are two to three minute ads on YouTube you have skippable ads so it's like and I don't put my ads every two minutes in my video every one minute I put it about every five or six minutes I'm gonna be honest I put it about every five six minutes if it's a longer video you're probably gonna see more ads because it's a longer video if it's a shorter video you'll probably see two or three you get what I'm saying and I feel like it discourages people to watch my videos but I feel like y'all as subscribers and supporters also have to understand us as youtubers this is our job this is our income YouTube is a business you get what I'm saying we have to be able to make an income out of this to do it as much as we can and do it as much as you guys would like because y'all I get DMs all the time can you post more please post more three days out the week is not enough please post more post more post more post more post more and I'm like okay I want to post more but I'm in school right now or I want to post more I'm just trying to think of what I'm trying to do after graduation if if um god forbid this doesn't work out you know what I'm saying so it's like I want to see those results now so I know okay bump everything else let me post every single day because I know you know what I'm saying y'all I'll get it you know what I'm saying like I'm not complaining or whatever like don't get me wrong I'm blessed I'm so happy I'm so grateful for y'all I just wanted to vent you know what I'm saying um and address that because I know y'all feel like I'd be put, putting way more ads than I ever have before because I used to put like maybe one ad in the video but then I started learning more about YouTube and and I'm self-managed nobody I don't have a manager nobody manages me at the moment I am self-managed so I'm learning stuff from Google from other youtubers all of this stuff and all these other youtubers are like okay put two to three ads put them every five to six minutes so that's what I do because YouTube is a business at the end of the day and this is my job at the end of the day this is what I'm trying to do full-time just like you know your parents get up and go to work every morning or you get up and go to work every morning you go you got to go to work and get paid you know what I'm saying so it's like I want to I obviously like I I don't know how to explain I never started this for the money and this is still not for the money, but at the same time, I do want to make this uh, income and a full-time thing, you know? And I make money out outside of YouTube with sponsorships and stuff, so don't get me wrong. But um, at the moment, majority of my income is YouTube right now. Like, I get sponsorships here and there, and it's good money, but I don't know how to market myself fully yet to really tackle, 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 tackle big sponsorships and things of that nature. I don't I don't know how to do all that yet. I'm, I'm learning as I go. So, a little five second 30 second ad every five to six minutes i'm like okay you know i feel like y'all should understand us you know what i'm saying and i'm not like talking at y'all i'm talking to y'all you know what i'm saying y'all my family y'all my gang 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 i just want to talk to y'all i just want to talk to y'all y'all my gang 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 so yeah um i just want to address that because i know i have been seeing a lot of comments like oh you've been posting too many ads in your video so if it is too much let me know but I feel like I'll do it every five to six minutes or so um, and you're definitely gonna see more with longer videos and worse reviews I'm not gonna lie worse reviews I'm gonna pack the ads on there a little bit more because I know they get views and I know that's where worse reviews make a lot of my money I'm not gonna lie to y'all and don't get and I don't what I do with my money is I save it I put it straight in my savings to set me up for the future so 
I'm trying to be like smart with it you know what I'm saying I love making content for y'all there's so much content that gets copyrighted or demonetized that I still post for y'all little do y'all know so I want y'all to know like it's not only about the money with me because I, I feel like it's starting to sound like it's just about the money 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 and it's not only about the money with me I have so many videos so many pranks so many like just so much stuff because I cuss in my videos if y'all don't notice and that gets demonetized sometimes um when I put it in the beginning like the first 10 seconds if they find cuss words it's gonna get demonetized so a lot of my stuff gets demonetized i ain't gonna hold you i'm gonna try to start cussing a little less a lot less i'm gonna try like it's hard you know what i'm saying i just want to be me like it's so hard being censored but um yeah a lot of my videos do get demonetized and y'all don't y'all wouldn't know that like some of the ads that y'all see don't even be for me like when it's every couple minutes or every couple seconds that's youtube because i get copyrighted um for like playlist videos stuff like that or using the wrong background music if y'all see a lot of ads in a video it's because i got copyrighted i will never pack ads that much okay youtube will pack ads that much when you get copyrighted so some of the stuff isn't me um or i get demonetized and y'all probably won't y'all probably will see ads but i probably won't make no money from it or i won't see them and then again, y'all probably won't see ads because I get demonetized, but I still want to drop the video for y'all because I'm in it for more than just the money. I'm in it for y'all. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that on that. And then the next thing I want to talk about is um taking a bite out of my food because I feel like I haven't ate. Like, Jerry, what are you doing? Y'all, this is supposed to be a mug man. I, see, I'm bad at mug bangs because I don't eat. Like, I just talk. I can't do both. <laughs> oh, hold on. my egg roll okay I'm back <sighs> I'm so good Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about while I'm on the subject of being self-managed, y'all, so I really don't like to put out what I'm doing um, until something really, until it's confirmed, basically. But for the past couple weeks now, about a month now, I've been looking for a manager because, as I'm saying, if I keep telling myself I'm going to take this seriously, I need to make the actions and take the steps to really be able to take this seriously and it's becoming very overwhelming and very hard for me to self-manage because sponsorship emails it's hard for me to it's getting harder for me to negotiate deals and stuff because i know my worth and i feel like a lot of companies don't see my worth or believe in my worth so they try to downplay my worth and i'm not with that so i tend to turn down a lot of stuff um because I just personally feel like I know my worth. Like, when it comes to stuff, a lot of companies try to play me. And I don't like feeling like I'm being played. So, I turn down a lot of stuff. And I feel like I need to learn how to market myself better in that aspect. Because I feel like if I knew how to market myself way better, I wouldn't have to turn down deals. I would know how to market myself and make them believe in me as much as I believe in me. You get what I'm saying? So... And then on top of that, a lot of this technical stuff, a lot of stuff that has to do with YouTube, the technical aspect, the business aspect, I'm still learning myself and I feel like I need help with that and I need guidance. And then on top of that with collabs and stuff, y'all don't see me collab with a lot of YouTubers. Only people I collab with is my friends and my friend YouTubers. So I only have a few, a really small, 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 small uh, bunch of YouTuber friends. Um, I haven't collabed with every single one of them, but I have collabed with Des, I've collabed with Telly, my friends Kayla, Mari, them and my friends already like in general, Telly too, Des, like those are real life relationships outside of YouTube as well. Um, I collab with my brother Tez, um, those are all my friends, like my YouTube friends and stuff. I can't think of anybody else I have collabed with that's my YouTube friend at the moment. Um, 
but yeah, y'all, <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, I don't know. If I forgot somebody, my apologies, like, it's not um, on purpose. But yeah, I, I don't, y'all don't really see me collab with a lot of people. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to start collabing with more people. I've reached out to YouTubers, but I get left on scene or I don't get responses. And I feel like if I had a manager to help me with that aspect of things too, because a lot of YouTubers, their managers handle, handle stuff like that. So a DM, they're not going to respond to. But if it was an email, they'd respond to. But I don't know how to go about all of that, if that makes sense. Like, I'm still learning, y'all. It's a lot to this YouTube stuff. And I really, y'all been asking me to collab with a lot of people, and I'd be wanting to, but it's like, I don't know how to go about it, how to market myself, how what's the right way to approach somebody when seeking a collab, because I don't want people to feel like I'm clout chasing, because that's not the case. It's really, I genuinely want to work with you, and I genuinely want to build a relationship, a friendship with you. You get what I'm saying? Not a relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, but, a relationship as in a friendship you get what i'm saying or a business relationship with people and i feel like people don't take me serious they don't know you know what i'm saying like i feel like i'm too informal with things i know how to be formal but i don't know how to be formal 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 if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i'm really just trying to learn all of this stuff and the ropes and the strings and the ins and the outs and it's really hard self-managing y'all so um like if you're a youtuber and you self-manage yourself man kudos big ups because this stuff is hard like i'm not gonna lie like my channel blew up and I'm like, oh snap, like this is hard. Like this, I thought it was hard when I was at 7K and I was getting little sponsorships here and there. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was hard, but now it's even harder. I, it's just so much like my email. I, it's hard to remember to check it. I'm in college. I'm a college student. So I have stuff outside of YouTube. I have a whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a human being. I'm a regular person. I have relationships I have to tend to, family members, friendships school like you know what i'm saying there's so much outside of youtube i have to like i have responsibilities with so it's just so hard so yeah with that being said i am looking for a manager i'm looking for somebody to help manage me you know what i'm saying like it's not like i don't got the funds to do it i have the funds i know how to manage my money and save my money so i've been doing that so i have the funds to pay a manager so if y'all know any you know what i'm saying youtube managers some good ones you know what i'm saying send them my way send me their way <laughs> you know what i'm saying if you know any youtubers you want to see me collab with go spam them and tell them you know what i'm saying check out life with jerry collab with her y'all will be lit like you know what i'm saying or you know what i'm saying like i made a post like today and i asked y'all to send me youtubers y'all want to see me collab with i i reached out to a few of them i got left on scene by some so you know what i'm saying like i'm trying but I mean, it is what it is. It's okay. Maybe they just numbers. It's, YouTube is a numbers game, so maybe they feel like I'm not up there with them yet. So, and my views, you know what I'm saying? That 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 can be a downer. So, I understand. I understand. It's no hard feelings, no bad blood. One day we'll collab. Period. Like I don't be taking stuff personal. So yeah, I'm looking for a manager. I really want to take this stuff. I really want to take YouTube way more serious to a whole nother level. I want to get merch, like all of that stuff, but I need help with all of that. Um, I want to get an accountant too, to help me like as far as the taxes wise, because I really literally just learned today that YouTubers pay taxes. I did not know this. I did not know. And it's a really good thing that I save my YouTube checks regardless. So when the time comes, it's not like I'm going to be scrambling and scraping to find money, but I didn't know that. So now that I know that I need somebody to help me with that too. So it's a lot of stuff that goes into youtube so it's it's just a lot like it's really a lot and i'm just learning so much i'm growing i'm just i'm excited for this journey i'm about to go on even better like i feel like we coming hard in 2020 like i'm so ready y'all but i just wanted to rant and say that and just get it off my chest i feel like a lot of that stuff been heavy on my heart like lately and a lot of y'all been asking me like one last thing a lot of y'all been asking me am i beefing with uh, with any youtubers and stuff like that because the stuff i post or stuff you see other people post and i just want to briefly address that and say i'm not beefing with anybody and if anybody says they're beefing with me they're beefing with their self like i don't know of any beef like i don't have no beef i don't really i'm one of the most unproblematic and non-confrontational youtubers and easiest to talk to youtubers like if anybody feels like i did anything or anything i feel like you know what i'm saying i'm easy to talk to just come to me so if anybody says we're beefing or whatever dead that they beef with themselves like i don't got beef none of that like i don't have time for that like i'm really just trying to grind grow i'm trying to see everybody eat like why are we beefing like that's dumb like no so yeah if y'all heard that or y'all seen that or whatever the case may be wherever you heard it wherever you seen it dead it like i'm 
I'm not with the drama. It's not, it's not, it's just, no. So, yeah, everybody doing their own thing and that's good. I'm proud of everybody, period. And that's not towards any specific person. Like, that's towards my YouTube friends too. Telly, Tez, the black brat, all of y'all, y'all doing y'all thing, period. I love y'all. Keep grinding, like, period. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I really want to collab with more YouTubers though. Like, I really want to collab with my sis. Her Instagram is Ayo Skinny. I, I want to collab with her so bad. Like, we need to collab, period. It's so many people I want to collab with. I'm not going to sit here and go name and name and names. But yeah, if you're in Atlanta and you want to collab, hit me up. If you're in the Bay and you want to collab, hit me up. Like, come on, let's make some shit shade, let's work. Also, I will be at Playlist Live February 28th to March 1st. So if you're going to be in Orlando, Florida, hit me up. Let's work. I'm going to be with Telly and Kayla, my good sisters, period. You know what I'm saying? Us to the end. We up next, period. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. Get some stuff off my chest. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff been heavy on my heart. I feel like it's really hard for me to talk about a lot of this stuff with other people because I feel like it comes up comes off as complaining so I really pray and hope that I did not come off as I was complaining or ungrateful for anything because I am completely a thousand percent blessed to even be able to see an income from this and be able to be on the way to making this a full-time thing I'm completely blessed completely humbled and overly grateful for y'all for this platform for God for my life like I just want to thank everybody that supports me I love y'all to the end like to the moon and back like I really love y'all I just want to get it off my chest because I feel like a couple weeks weeks ago it was even heavier on my chest but now I know how to go about saying what I need to say without coming off a certain way so I just wanted to say that before moving forward more into vlogmas and stuff so this is probably one of the more serious videos we'll have this month um other than that we about to turn up other than that, we about to turn up, we about to get lit, period. Vlogmas with Jerry, we lit, period, gang, gang, gang. But yeah, I love you. So, so much, Jerry Gang. I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know how I'm doing this vlogmas, if y'all are liking the content. Let me know how you feel about this video. All content is good. I mean, all comments are fine. Like, I don't even care. Like, I just want to know how y'all feel. Keep it real with me in the comments. I won't take it as hate. Just keep it real. Um, let me know how you guys feel. If you guys are YouTubers and you understand where I'm coming from, let me know. If you're a YouTuber and you want to collab, hit me up. Like, I'm down. Like, what's up? But yeah, I love everybody so much. I love you guys. I love you, Jerry Gang. If you made it to the end of this video and you didn't subscribe yet, what are you doing? Or if you didn't like, what are you doing? Or if your notifications still aren't on, what are you doing? Like, come on, join Jerry Gang. We lit, period. Join notifi Notification Squad. We lit, period. But yeah, I love you guys so much. That's the end of this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me leave you on a quick, positive note. Eat your face, not people. Bye.